Hey, Steve. Yeah, Larry? Uh, uh, I'm kind of bored. I am too. But what should we do? We should play some video games. Video games? Video games. I, mean, I, could, I could go for some video games. Uh, what kind of video games? RPG. Uh, something classic. Classic RPG. Okay. Um, let's see. So, uh, what do we got? We could do, uh, we could do a Z uh, Zelda or... Um, like, I don't know, there's like Final Fantasy. Ooh, Final uh, Fantasy, I haven't done that in a long time. Okay, Final Fantasy, that seems good. Uh, well, what's your favorite one? I, I like the ones that are multiples of three. Multiples of three? You know, three, so six, three, nine. So, three, six, nine, twelve. Well, classic, okay. Uh, three. Well, well we... three is six. Oh, wait, no, that's America. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Actually, we don't. Do we even? What three was only available here? And what was that? The DS. Yeah, the DS. Yeah, forget so that, that. That's out of it. Out of the question. Uh, um, let's we, see. I don't have six on me. I don't have a Super NES in my house anymore. So nine. Nine. All I remember about nine is airships, giant evil that must be stopped, and Saiyan monkey men. I do like Saiyan monkey men. I do as well. Especially with weird names I can't pronounce. Steve? Larry. I think we're going to play Final Fantasy IX. Sounds like a plan. I'm actually really excited about about all this. I mean, I, have, I haven't played this game in... I haven't played this game all the way through in, in years. Yeah, it's been a dog's age for me as well. Yeah. So... <laughs> I have no... How long did we spend trying to get all of our crap together to actually get this working? Like what? Like six hours last night, six hours today, and we're just finally starting now? Yeah, what is it? Oh, wow, it's just it's just after two. Yeah, you can see we woke up, like what? Like ten-ish? We yeah, had ten. some breakfast. <laughs> Here we are. Finally going to start the game. My gosh. Finally. All right. So, new game of Final Fantasy. Um... So a couple of things that we're going to be trying to do, uh, our hope is to do a full item run of the game, show you where at least all the mini games are. We might not actually finish all the mini games because some of them are so time consuming. Um, try and point out where where the uh, side quests are. Once again, we'll probably get most of them done. Um, don't hate us. It's a long game to do everything in. Larry, Larry, she's on a boat. She is on a boat. Oh! Oh. She's sailing away. <laughs> Dream sequence over. Look at my boat. Now look away. Now look back at me. I'm a princess. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. It's a bright new day in the kingdom of, what is this, Alexandria? Mushroom Kingdom. Definitely the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, is it? Well, no, it's the kingdom of Alexandria, but it's definitely the Mushroom Kingdom, because, I mean, this it's a princess. She must be useless, right? I, I just thought you were going with everybody's high on drugs. Same thing, really. <laughs> She's smoking all the drugs. She has all the drugs she can do. It's a beautiful day to be a mermaid statue? <laughs> what? Well, you tell me what that was. That looks like a mermaid statue what are those, to me. What are those called at the head? Uh, figurehead. Oh, figurehead of the ship. <laughs> what is the thing at the head that's like a figure? It's a figurehead. <laughs> uh, airships. I what swear to drunk that I haven't been godding all day. Nope. Yeah, we're not, and we're not working on like three or four hours of sleep either. Oh, gosh. Hey, look, it's a Saiyan. And he's a super one at that. Super Thean, activate. Oh my god, Becky. Look at his tail. It is so long. <laughs> oh, makes me so hot and bothered just looking at it. Yeah, it would. Sure, sure. is dark. I beat Larry to it. <laughs> Guess nobody's here yet. Oh, you would think that. He's on fire! That's what I thought the first time. <laughs> All right, so once again, full item walkthrough. So there are a couple of items here in the first part of the ship. 
Um, we Let both me. have actually played this game before. So, but we are going to forget things. Steve just can't remember anything about the game. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, look. MS Prima Vista Theater Ship. Class Luxury Lighter with theater tonnage 8,235 tons. Guest capacity of 288. The propulsion is Vale Energy, the uh, preferred energy source of pretty much everything in the world. Shipwright of course, Zibol Shipyards. And Port of Registry is Lindblom, which we'll get to later. I believe that's all the items in here. So we can go yep. ahead and light said candle. I'm going to do it from this side because I can. Yep. Well, light the candle and see what's up. Everything! Candles make everything So uh, we'll probably keep the names for most of the characters, except for one, just for my comedic sake. Um, so this is Zidane, or Zidane, if you're going to listen to Sidia, they're wrong, I don't care what anyone says. So this is Zidane, it's me, Zidane. Oh, hi guys. Hey guys. <laughs> hey Zidane, you sure are late. Sorry, where's the boss? Ain't here yet. Sidia, formerly, now going to be known as Meat Shield for the rest of the game. The next one is the... Ah! What is it? I believe the uh, guy on the bottom is Marcus. Oh, oh, Dragon Force! <laughs> Start playing through the fire of the... Oh. Here we go. No! Super slow-mo battle! Alright, so every... Pretty much every boss in the game has three items. In fact, every boss in the game. Oh, Meat Shield! Whoa, Meat Shield actually survived a hit. This is ridiculous. Oh, two items down. I see that last one. Come last on. one. Ah. Oh. oh, what are we doing? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, so this Ow! So this Dragonkin here has three items: potion, a wrist, and I believe the Mage Masher. There oh, it is. Got it. All right. Now it's time for the bitch slapping. You gotta wallop him. Come on. Marcus, oh. Marcus Mon, use Mushroom Slap. Oh. Boom. Today, use tail, hit, tail Whip. <laughs> Forgot the Pokemon references, eh, Larry? Yeah, the same thing. Marcus, use Mushroom Stamp. Ow. Blank, use your sword. It's Batman. <laughs> He's been unmasked. My head. Go easy, you guys. I'm just teaching you how Masked to fight. Masked man, use a potion to restore HP. I don't remember that. I don't remember that screen before. It's because you actually allowed Meat Shield to survive. Really? Yep. That's never happened to me before. That's because Meat Shield almost always dies. That's so cool. Yep. It's rules. Cool. You're looking a lot better. He's Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh, wait, let's start this meeting already. Let's do this thing. Oh, I'm Grandpa Cacker. <laughs> Cinema Dick, show me that ass. Cinema Dick, show me that ass. Here's the plan. Don to less than the infamous Madame Daring Thieves. That's us. Is headed to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission to kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. I'll take it from here because I'm the meat shield. So listen up. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria. And when it does, we're going to put on our costumes and perform I Want to Be Your Canary, the most popular play in Alexandria, written by William Shakespeare. Break a leg, Marcus, because you're playing the lead. Yeah, uh huh. Leave the acting to me, of course. The real getting after me is blank as a dame. I'll distract the audience from the backstage with these little buggers. I can't stand all of but I'll manage, so don't worry about me. And I'll be your cue, Zidane. And that's why I kidnapped the queen, right? Nope. You bet you're gonna kidnap that fat ugly uh, well, uh, queen. Ah, uh, never mind. Time to kidnap Princess Garnett, because she's the most babelicious beauty in all the land, and she's 16 years old, so jail bait as well. Now, funny little thing is if that thing, if you say, if you answer Queen Brom, um, what is it? Uh, like 100, 100, 100, yeah. Is it 120, I think? Yep. It's either 120 or 130. It's more than 100. It will actually uh, trigger another character, Ruby, to come in and basically tell you to stop being a dumbass. So if you want to waste your time and do that, be my guest. That's the way to do it. Oh, look. Aww. It's a cute little... Black Mage. It's a throwback to Final Fantasy 1. 
Look at it, throw back. It's like Mountain Dew. With sugar. With real sugar. Uh, uh, I want to be an airship when I grow up. I want to be an airship and fly so far and free. I always wondered what the point of having a sword that big was. Dude. <laughs> Check it out. My sword is huge. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> He's not compensating for anything. <laughs> His massive ego, maybe. Wow. Indeed. Right in the pooper. Yep. I think that's a good time to stop this recording. So uh, that was the that was the beginning of Final Fantasy. When we come back, we will meet the Black Mage and see exactly what's going on. Sounds like a plan to me. Yep. So until next time, I'm Larry. I'm Steve. And we're let's playing Final Fantasy IX.